Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and here we are in Pathfinder Solutions series. I brought forward a question from the chapter of Thermal Physics or Thermodynamics in the book and this is Objective 11. A lot of students have requested for this particular question in the past. So it's a very simple, straight little puzzle that would be very enriching for you once you go through it. So in case you have not tried it, here's the formal wording. So you can pause the video here, have a try for this question for 5 to 10 minutes and do come back for the solution. Okay, so... In a two liter metallic bottle, air is pumped to a pressure of two atmosphere. A thin plastic bag of large capacity, greater than 10 liter with no air inside is connected to the opening of the bottle that is closed. Bottle together with the bag is placed on one pan of balance and weights are put on the other pan to establish the balance. When the opening of the bottle is opened, air flows from the bottle into the bag and balance may be disturbed. How much additional weight is required to re-establish the balance? Density of air is mentioned and acceleration due to gravity is mentioned as 10 meter per second square and four options of where your additional weight is given. So to cut the long story short, I'm assuming that you have done your uh, attempt. So on this side, initially there is a bottle. Can you see there's a bottle and there is a plastic bag or a balloon or whatever. And initially there is no connection between the two. When the connection is open, obviously the air from this side rushes and increases the volume of this thing. So initially when some balance is there, so he's expecting you to realize that the balance gets disturbed because of the air rushing from the metal bottle into this. And where, uh, how much weight you have to put on which side also we're going to investigate according to the wording of the question. Okay, so here we move ahead. The idea from the wording of the problem, reading the question very carefully is one of the important things for your JE examinations and also for Olympiad exams. Okay, so especially when the question has more than six to seven lines, actually noting down the important words in the question solves the problem to half of it. Okay, so he said metallic bottle. That is the first word that we are going to highlight. That means it's a good conductor of heat. So we expect this temperature of gas, which is considered to be ideal, obviously, is to be constant as this gas goes into this particular system. So over a period of time, once the gas establishes thermodynamic equilibrium, again, temperature of the gas is, would be same as the temperature of outside. Second important word that you see in the question is that he mentions it's a thin plastic bag of large capacity. He said 10 liters uh, as compared to this two liters. Okay, so this could have enlarged into 10 liter gas. Okay, so what does this two words mean? Thin plastic bag means that plastic bag doesn't have a mass of its own or a thickness of its own. So it doesn't contribute towards any buoyancy force or weight of its own. The buoyancy force is only due to the internal volume and not the thickness volume. It would be only due to the internal volume and not the thickness volume. The thickness volume is zero. What does the large capacity here mean? It means that this particular thing, once it goes inside, there won't be any tension or elastic, um, you could say stress inside this material of the balloon or the plastic bag. What does that mean? Then the gas is going to fill this one and it keeps expanding till the pressure from outside is equal to pressure from inside. Remember, this won't be a strained uh, layer. It won't be having a stress or a strain on this. So pressure inside would be equal to pressure outside. The usual balloons that you inflate are going to have a tension or elastic stress and therefore the pressure inside and pressure outside won't be equal. Because of the large capacity mentioned this problem, the pressure difference outside and inside will become equal to or pressure difference should be equal to zero. So these are the two important things. The temperature of the gas remains constant and the gas expands in such a way that the outside pressure and inside pressure becomes equal to each other. So the only difference occurs due to the extra buoyant force. So there's no mass change, right? So when this particular bottle is on this side of the uh, common balance, the extra force that acts on the system is due to the buoyant force due to the increase in the volume. And therefore, there is a lift on this particular thing in the upward direction. So that you have to adjust using some weight, which is what's supposed to calculate. Okay, so how to calculate that? The calculation of the extra buoyant force, you could see a lot of things on the board, just follow my lead. Initially, if I take this two liter metal bottle with the flappy looking balloon or flappy looking um, plastic thin bag, 
uh, when when you are given that it is a two liter bottle, okay, right? So two liter gas is there. So you use ideal gas equation of PV equal to NRT. We realize the number of moles are same and temperature remains same. Therefore, the left hand side should remain the same. Since the final pressure has to become the same as one atmosphere, which is the outside one, initial pressure was given two atmosphere. So the pressure became half of its initial. Okay, so I hope you understand that. Since the pressure became half, volume should double so that the product remains constant. Okay, so whatever two liter of gas is there, the expansion should ensure that it becomes a four liter gas. And since two liter of the metal bottle is fixed, the balloons expansion should yield a two liter extra value. Okay, so the total of four liter, I ensured that the two liter should be of the balloon. I would say the extra buoyant force is now due to this two liter of gas, which is at one atmosphere. Remember outside gas is also air and it is one atmosphere and inside gas is also air at one atmosphere. And therefore the extra buoyant force is simply the vol uh, value of the weight of the air displaced here, which which is of two liter V rho G that you can write. And therefore extra mass that you have to place is nothing but the mass of the air displaced. I removed G here, G is not required in the calculation actually because it's the mass that is asked. So it is V into rho. Volume of the air is two liter, density of the air is 1.3 kg per meter cube. Convert this into appropriate units and you end up getting 2.6 grams. One more important and interesting thing here is on which side you should adjust the weight on which side you should adjust the weight. Since the buoyant force occurs on the bottle side, actually that side becomes lighter. So whatever extra weight that he has asked in the question should be placed on the bottle side, not on the weight side. Already the weight side is larger. So you're supposed to actually place the weight on this side, left side. Okay, he never mentioned that, but I think you might have understood the reasoning for that. Okay, so extra mass should be placed on the bottle side and not on the weights okay so i hope that's very clear and my answer should be 2.6 grams so we'll go and search for that option and mark it like this okay so i hope you understood the concept behind this particular problem and please make sure you go through the rest of the pathfinder solution series more than 60 problems have been solved and i'll try to solve as many as possible especially from the objective part before your je advanced examination okay so um, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Uh, try to share the videos with other uh, people also so that the channel gets the growth. Uh, right now, I'm not that much impressed with the kind of sharing that is happening. I hope and uh, expect you to support me in all the efforts I'm putting in. Okay, thank you and see you in the next one.